Tiago, um, another something that's got me, you know, curious is your tattoos. You they give you a rather menacing look. If you look, you really uh, is there, is there, is there, is there a story behind the tattoos, or it's just your express your love for art, you know, being expressed, in, you know, on your body? I would say for the most part, m most people go f from a aesthetic point of view. But yeah, I guess mine has have a lot of a. Uh, 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 <laughs> aggressive and at times probably controversial connotations uh, with religion. Uh, religion, uh, it's it's got parts that uh, are connected to the stage where my mom being in jail and things like this. So yeah, uh, yeah. Remember when my mom went to jail? That's when I started doing tattoos because now there is nobody to tell me I can't do that, <laughs> right? So like. Uh, as soon as she goes, let's uh, go. I started, <laughs> I started getting inked like crazy. Obviously, nowadays I'm sick of it. I, I, I literally, I literally can't stand even the idea of uh, going and doing one right now. But yeah, it, it's all connected to all my twists and <laughs> and my perspectives. Uh, yeah so, so some of them like when that's why i'm really mindful of people asking specific meanings for tattoos like because for most people when you go and you ask them about what why do they have this tattooed chances are it, if it doesn't have a date of when someone was born or died it's okay to ask right <laughs> so right but in my case most of them are are, are actually connected to stuff that if then you start explaining people go oh actually sorry i didn't mean to no no it's okay it's just, <laughs> it's okay it's okay <laughs> it, get, it gets yeah. really awkward quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's okay it's fine <laughs> but yeah like it, it, the tattoos they as you get comfortable with your career you just do more because it's like um i i at the beginning i didn't have like face tattoos or stuff like this at the very beginning i wait it's 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 just like bitcoin like right? your money starts piling into bitcoin as your knowledge you know that chart <laughs> as your knowledge grows your money just starts flowing into bitcoin it's the same with tattoos as your like profession gets more solid your clients you are your clients you enjoy them they enjoy you they know who you are uh you just start you just you just continue to to just uh, get more ink and stuff I'm, but i'm just sick of it. it the pain and all that nonsense i'm i'm really quiet these days compared to when i was uh, uh, back then uh like uh, i don't know if you know like dao uh dao got dao philosophy daoism got into my life like a few uh, like some two years ago through a friend and uh that that uh tamed tamed uh, my rougher side from back in the days a lot like i i'm very different since um yeah the tattoos do look cool though i like them <laughs> thanks <laughs> it's like Daoism created a uh, Tiago 2.0. And I suppose also having like children often causes people to kind of um, like it silences that kind of like rougher, edgier side of themselves. And they start thinking, hey, yeah. you know, it's not just me, right? It's my, like my kids and uh, and there's more to live for, I guess, and more to worry about, I suppose, too. Um, so oh, yeah, you things. said it. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you, you did get it right. It's like even Bitcoin, like I, I started stacking Bitcoin to get rich. That's right, you know. Oh, some guy tells you, I, I bought Bitcoin, I made this much. And you're like, oh, where? I'm going to buy Coinbase, 3% three, 3 fees, boom. <laughs> and you just go like that. Uh, and then you get into Bitcoin. And eventually these days, I mean, obviously at this point, I've seen the, my net worth uh, crush as, as much as your net worth probably crushed, like twice in the past few, few years. And uh, it's nothing. It means nothing. Uh, it means means nothing because eventually the the goal of Bitcoin and the humanitarian side of it and um, all these people like Alex Gladstein and stuff they get they open the doors of your idea of Bitcoin into other directions uh, other than the getting rich and stuff. Eventually, 
my Bitcoin, I, I already feel like it's more projected to, to my daughter in the future than to myself, honestly. So it's like, uh, yeah, I think it's everyone's sort of tra trajectory kind of. Um, yeah, I think as things unfold, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's natural. <clears throat> Yeah, it definitely yeah, it makes sense from like a evolutionary standpoint, right? Like you, you want like if you're having a child, like it makes sense that you'd want, you know, like a, even just like a human race, we'd want the child to grow up and survive and be okay and make it, and so it makes sense from like an evolutionary standpoint. I suppose like um switching topic a little bit because I'm wary of time and I wanted to ask you something um uh, specifically, which was like um especially towards the end of the podcast as well with people watching or listening. Uh, what are like some uh some projects that you've worked on that you're like really proud of or that you really enjoyed because it, obviously this way people can go and see some of what you've done, right? Like, uh, that, that would make sense. Uh, well, it's like pretty much it's an artist thing that you, you never fully like what you've done. <laughs> it's like, uh, a tortured artist sort of a uh, thing, you know, like, <laughs> never quite, quite going to make it. Yeah. You, know? you, you never bought enough Bitcoin at the bottom. <laughs> it's it's the same it's like you can't uh but yeah i think uh it seems to be always the latest the latest thing you've done seems to be the i think definitely the thing i've enjoyed doing the most in the past few years and looking at the most in the past few years it's definitely a swan song for sure it's probably the uh, the move the apple or original on uh, apple tv First of all, I don't work for film often. So that was an opportunity to work for film, which was one of my uh, mom's dream was that one day I would work for film. So honestly, when I got into the project, I'm not one to take seven month type duration projects. I don't, it didn't, it wasn't my style up until that project. But when I knew it was for film and when I knew, oh, okay. This is definitely going to make my mom's uh, one of my mom's dreams come true, and it's it's easy for me. I just got to do this for seven months, <laughs> and it's something I enjoy doing. So, and, and my team was also really nice. Uh, so I jumped in, and the movie, the you know, the style of movie and everything else, it, it's very down my alley. So it was really good. It was seven months, and then at the end, I told my mom, "Hey, here, uh, it's done. I I worked for film." And she goes and tells her friends and checks the credits and all that nonsense. I'm not like the medals. The medals part is a bit nonsense to me. It's like, I don't like the credits at the beginning. It, it's just like Bitcoin at the beginning. It was about the credits in my career It's the credits in my name and this thing on my portfolio and my name at the end of the film, this and that, but it doesn't, it's just, it doesn't matter for shit, the name at the end of the film. Um, it's more just having a good time with good professionals and creating something cool. But um, yeah, it, yeah, Swan Song, uh, Apple TV. That's my favorite thing. Um, I have another documentary coming out on uh, Netflix in March, I think. Uh, the narrative, I hate it. It's about this dystopian uh, somewhat like uh, fucked up Klaus Schwab type shit where uh, futuristic nonsense where people are well I can't even give you spoilers because I, I actually think I can't so <laughs> but yeah it's it's Klaus Schwabish okay so <laughs> so uh, it's uh, 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 that's not my favorite thing I have done, especially the narrative involved, but it was, uh, it was a great time with another group of friends, the same, partially the same people I've, I've worked with on the movie. So yeah, I work with those guys a lot. Territory studio. I mean, the, just watching the trailer for, um, Swan Song, I know you're not involved in like the, you know, the actual like direction of it or whatever, directing and all that stuff, but um, just watching the trailer gets you pretty excited. Like it looks like a cool project to be involved in from the aspect of like what's been created as a whole. 
Uh, and I haven't seen I haven't seen it actually, um, but the trailer got me pretty pumped, and I uh, sent it to my family and stuff. So it was definitely something that I'm interested in uh, in checking out. Um, and now I think about it, I've got a movie night on Friday, so I might might watch it. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that, that's uh, that's persuaded me. But um, and I, and I, I'd highly encourage anyone to go and check it out as well. It looks like a, a good um, piece of art and 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 piece of like commentary as well on on kind of part like a sort of strange and scary topic. Um, so it's quite interesting to to me. Yeah, it's done. It's it's done that. It's, it's done that style of um, what was the other movie that, where the guy has multiple robotic uh, female girlfriends type yeah. thing. Remember oh, that? Trying. Yeah. yeah I'm it's... trying to think the one where, and then he like falls in love with her and she persuades her to let him out. Yeah. Or whatever. yeah I'm trying to think it's really yeah. annoying. I can't remember what that is that film. But it's like, well, that, funny, it, fu- yeah. Funny enough. I like I've done the, I've done the film and I do the Netflix thing. I, and tons of advertising, but I actually rarely, rarely watch a movie and i rarely watch tv i watch my movie because it's my movie but i don't i'm not one to spend time on the tv um and people find out weird once again that <laughs> like that you, you create a certain art that you don't look back at i just do it and i move on to the next one i don't stop to look at uh, that i don't know i don't know if an actor is constantly in the theater watching other people act type type shit, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I don't <laughs> sick of it, man. They or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I create my graphics. I move on to the next one. I don't really know where they go, where they sit. Uh, what? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's another that's another thing. But that's but that's actually common. I have a friend of mine. He creates uh, lots of characters for Marvel movies. He says he doesn't watch his movies. Right. Well, this may be an element of like, uh, and this is the thing as well. Like, uh, as you said, you, you tried to cyber and you're into Bitcoin. You're into, there's maybe an element of ego death in there too, right? Like, you don't really necessarily <laughs> to, like love yourself for, like, you know, what I mean, like, just sit there going, sort of, you know, jacking off over yourself in a way of like, oh, look at how amazing I am, you know? Maybe there's just an element of that too, right? Like, uh, that's in there, <laughs> which makes sense. But, and, and I'm going to say this as well. This is legit. Um, so I know you said you did some, uh, I, I, well, I think you did some work on one of the Need for Speed games, I think. Could be wrong on that one. But yeah, yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think as well was it the day and night animations? Yeah, 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 literally as well. This is the best bit. Is I remember when that game I played it at my friend's house whenever the hell that game came out. And I remember me and him going on and on about the day and night animations and like, oh, it's so cool that you go from day to night. That looks so badass. And I just couldn't believe it. And I saw it as you. I was like, what? Like, I never, I've never had that experience before. So like, I'm not meaning to like give you a crazy compliment. And I didn't play the game. No, really, right? Okay, yeah, but it legit does look badass. Like I remember me and my friends exactly saying, like, "Oh, those animations are so cool." Where it goes from, like switches. Yeah, so, that um, client was. Yeah, that client was. Uh, a bit clueless, honestly. Difficult. A bit clueless. D- difficult. Yeah, that, that's the word. Difficult. Yeah. <laughs> that's a diplomatic. I gotta put my you, best accent on difficult. <laughs> difficult. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> No, okay. I, I, I say, it's, it's, I say, people can definitely check out. Um, and have you, you've got um, a website, haven't you? I think I, I, I swear I checked it out. You might, you might. Yeah, my that. name tiagohiggs.com. That's yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll link that. For sure. Yeah, and your Twitter. That's where all my stuff like goes. So everyone can check you out there. I mean, there's no last questions, uh, guys. Is there before? Because I say I'm just wary of time. Ricardo, Jerry, we were good. Uh, I, I had good. one last question, and, yeah, and you can it. answer it as briefly as you want. In your industry. How like are your coworkers like the people you work with? Are they conscious of Bitcoin or are they kind of uh, think it's still kind of a fringe investment? Uh, no, they are. Um, in the creative industry, it's normal that I'm in a job um, with other guys, and somehow economics or finance or even inflation serves as the uh, the pull for the rest of. The conversation to unfold and eventually bitcoin comes into the conversation but most of them are, are uh, knee-deep shit coins as well uh and obviously i come across as the idiot that oh you're gonna miss out on all these gains because uh because <laughs> you're because you're a bitcoin freak and you only have bitcoin this and that but but all of them but the, but the discourse but the discourse they they give is usually around the i'm gonna make so much money right it's completely different I understand. I understand what they are trying to achieve. They are trying to get tons of fiat, but uh, it's not so much what I am trying to get. Um, I want um, I want to see Bitcoin succeed first and foremost. 
I'm bullish on Bitcoiners. I want to see these countries adopt Bitcoin. And one day, eventually, if something I want to borrow against my Bitcoin, but the idea of selling my Bitcoin is uh, kind of a scary... Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of weird. The idea of selling your Bitcoin is weird. I can't... It's, it's just... It, it's funny, it became, it became really a resistance, just the idea of departing from it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I remember when I first, um, but I spent it rather than sold it, right? There is, a, there is a bit of difference, but like, it's still the same thing to a degree. But yeah, I remember spending uh, I think like a, a whole Bitcoin very strange, very, <laughs> very, very strange feeling. <laughs> on le- on legal shaky fees, shaky and, voice over there. Uh, yeah because uh, it was when it was like you know seven grand usd or something stupid um but it but it made yeah. so much sense practically to do it at that time it was like yeah yeah this is what i have i'm in another country i'm gonna get a discount for doing this, this it made so much sense it was like and it did, that was actually a big realization for me of like yeah this is actually like sensible like makes sense money right like it's global i don't have to piss about like my pounds to brazilian reals all this crap i don't have to do all the iof taxes blah blah blah, blah. i just literally go boom boom and within 10 minutes essentially done i get a discount from the guy accepting it because he doesn't have to accept the stupid credit card fees either and all that stuff everyone's happy and so it made me realize like shit you know this is uh the circular economy is a big thing you know and, I, and i'd already i'd already discovered a bit refill but it made me definitely much more aware of like yeah spend it don't set it kind of thing um so yeah it's uh yeah it's yeah you guys have a better. crazy like uh you guys came up with this thing. It's pretty crazy. Like when I found out about it, I was super excited. I've bought a few books. I've, I've bought, I thought like, I can't, I'm like, I'm resistant. I'm resistant to buy shit. I, I literally don't need using bit refill in my, in my Bitcoin. But the idea of buying Bitcoin related books <laughs> using Bitcoin. Bitcoin somehow feels like, oh, this makes sense. Cause it's, it's, circular right it's like it's so weird yeah it's like investing back in itself <laughs> yeah yeah well it's like if you value the currency a lot more which i do and i know you do um then you're less inclined to buy random crap and you're much more inclined to only spend when it makes sense on good stuff good quality blah blah, blah. so uh yeah it's uh it makes a difference i think um and that kind of gets rid of the whole myth that like if we went to bitcoin which is actually technically inflationary for the next god knows how many thousand years but is somewhat deflationary uh, design, I guess. Uh, then people are always upset, like, oh, people aren't going to spend, the economy's going to die. And it's like, well, no, people will just spend when it makes sense to spend. They're not going to spend irrationally because of interest rate uh, manipulation and, and things like that. Well, um, didn't didn't uh, didn't our friend Jerome just literally come out before this call uh, uh, saying that the printer is going to keep on, <laughs> is going to keep on printing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the, the prince is going to keep going, 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 just for now anyway. Interest rates are staying stable, okay. uh, which so is crazy. unbelievable. Because we all know, uh, and they've given up on the transitory thing, haven't they, on inflation? But, um, oh, yeah, I, I want to give you props. Before I forget, I want to give you props. Uh, last time we spoke, mm. you told me like you were fully confident and open to the idea that it would be completely normal if Bitcoin was to crash even deep into the 20s. That was right? Uh, I just close. I say, yeah, close. Not too and, bad, and not too far off. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope you actually bought the dip you were so hopeful of. But yeah, uh, uh, it it might actually tumble some more just to give us some opportunity. Yeah. Um, who knows? I I, 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 I don't know if I trust chain uh, chain analysis anymore. It's like, oh, it's gonna pump. Uh, uh, liquidations, this and that is gonna pump up, and then it goes down. It's like, uh, uh, whatever. I just wait. I just wait for the dips, and that's it. And I DCA. I do the combo DCA plus zip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a nice little DCA, and then occasionally buff like you know, buy like a, <laughs> yeah. When it, when, it, when it when it looks uh, entertaining, go shopping kind of thing. Yeah, no, okay. Well, yeah, no, that's fair, fair enough. It's, it's something I've yeah, I, I'd seen coming for a while, and it could definitely go you know, uh, go live. But we'll see. Hey, you know, no one's got a crystal ball. Uh, <laughs> Not financial advice. <laughs> No, exactly. Yeah, no, no financial advice on this podcast. Just complete uh, shit talking, and well, from us, and then from our, from our lovely guest. Always uh, good information. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess uh, we we should wrap it up because I know it's getting late. Um, as much as I want to continue talking, to be honest. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll let you get to bed and uh, get up early for the next day. But um, thanks for coming on, Tiago. It's been awesome, and um, it'd be good to have you back in the, in the future, uh, especially after you've done some more projects and see maybe how you're your journey's going um and i'll be talking to you anyway outside of this um 
but yeah thanks for, thanks for thanks for coming on and we'll have your links in the in the bottom of the podcast and thank you ricardo and jerry for joining me as always um but for now that's been it and uh, everyone listening have an amazing day week month year uh love mm-hmm. your life and uh, keep buying bitcoin <laughs>